Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the box sizing. In the previous session, we have learned about the width of auto 100%, min, width, min content and all those things we have seen it, right? Now let's try to see about the box sizing. So how this width and all those things are behaving, let's try to see now. The important concept that is, uh, that is present in the CSS is the box model. So boxes are made up of distinct box model areas that all do a specific job. So if I try to tell you the box model, almost all the every element or otherwise every CSS property, uh, every every CSS property or every element, so follows this box model. Every CSS property will have a box model. So for example, if you try to see this div element, so here you will be having a box model. Okay every every element has a box model so it will be following this box model only so what is this box model let's try to see it first we start with the content box content box is the area that the content lives in so here you'll be able to see the blue color right 215.600 by like this so if i try to i am in maximize it now you will be able to see this one yeah so this is the box model. first one is the content box this is the area that the content where the content actually lives so content the as you learned before this content can control the size of its parent so is usually the most variable size area so this is the most variable size area dynamic size area so this is the size which will be control which will be controlled by the parent thing so next comes the padding box so here if you try to see this is the padding box this surrounds the content box and it is the space created by the padding property so this is the space created by the padding property because padding is inside the box the background of the box will be visible in the space that it creates so this one is present inside the box because of that reason whatever the background color you apply to the box so that background color will be applied to this padding area also if our box has overflow rule set such as overflow auto or overflow scroll the scroll bars also occupy this space so if you are having a scroll bar thing which we'll discuss afterwards that about the overflow thing <coughs> so the scroll bars we will be having right for a development or for a particular box if you are having a scroll box the scroll box also comes under this padding area so the next comes the border box this border box surrounds the padding box and it's a space occupied by the border value the border box is the bounds of your box and the border edge is the limit so what you can visually see the border property is used to visually frame an element so this is the border box actually final area is the margin box so this is the space around your box defined by the margin rule in your in your properties properties such as outline box shadow occupy this space too so properties like when you try to apply outline box shadow these are all the things occupy this one so outline uh, for example if you have an outline width of 200 pixel on our box means and everything inside a box including the box would be the exactly same size so when you add an outline pixel of 200 pixel and all those things the box size will be exactly the same so let's try to see about this border box thing so now if you want to debug this one means you can open the con uh, here the chrome web tools here like this and you can in the computed you will be able to see the box here okay so controlling the box model so this controlling the box model for example let's say that i'm having a div so this is a lila web div let's go on to the main.css in this main.css i am giving this one as a background color of red okay i have given background color of red okay fine so this one the default value of the width is auto because of the reason it is uh, it is matching the 100 percent of its parent so it is taking the horizontal total complete available horizontal space it is trying to take now what i will try to do i will give the extrinsic sizing that is nothing but width of 100 pixel i have given width of 100 pixel let's assume so now it has shrinked and i am giving height of 100 pixel also so that means i am extrinsically giving that so i will try to give this one as 50 pixel i am trying to give the width and height of this box now the total width and height of this box is 100 by 50 as you are able to see here in the box model the content box is 100 by 50 now i will apply a padding of 10 pixel on all either sides i am applying so on all four sides i am applying a padding box of 20 pixel now the total width of this box or otherwise total width of this div so will be around if you try to go to the elements and if you point over here you will try to see the total width of this one is 
around 120 by 70 actually the width and height is 100 by 50 but here it is showing that when you hover here you'll be able to see that it is 120 by 120 by 70 why it is coming here so what is the reason is it is calculating the total width of this box is the content box width that is 100 plus on either sides of the padding so that is 10 plus 10 so total it is 120 in the same scenario the height is 50 and and the top and bottom 10 pixel plus 10 pixel that is total 70 pixel so this is the total width of this box total width and height of this box 120 by 70 if i try to apply a border for this one <coughs> border of 2 pixel solid red now the total width and height of this box is around it will be if i have over here 124 by 74 now 4 pixel has been extra added why because we have given 2 pixel on either sides so 2 now it will be 100 plus 10 plus 2 plus 10 plus 2 here also it will take 2 plus 10 plus 100 plus 10 plus 2 the total width so that is around 124 and here at the top 2 plus 10 plus 50 plus 10 plus 2 so the total width of this box is up to the border box normally the width if you are given 100 pixel means you are mentioning the width for only the content box not for the bearing border and all those things you are mentioning the width for only the content box only so the border padding and all those things if you try to take it it will cali it will have the calculation it, it will it will be added with the content box the total width plus added padding and the border so this is the box model so can we control this box model so now you are maybe getting a doubt that can we control this box model yes we can control this box model so how can we control this box model is <coughs> by changing this one box sizing to so here i can say that so here you will be having a property that is nothing but a box sizing so box sizing the default one it will be a content box okay the box sizing for this one default one will be a content box now you can change this content box property to a border box or now we are telling that the box sizing you need to fit up to the border so up to the border we need to fit it now if i try to tell the border box now the width will be recalculated by the browser in a such a way that so the total width of this box combined uh, the total width of this box will be content plus border plus it will be calculated inside the width only so now here we are having 100 pixel 10 pixel 2 pixel right so the content box has existed in such a way that the total if you sum up with the border box it will be 100 pixel so now if i hover here in this view so it will be still 100 by 50 only so this is the usage of this box sizing so the uh, so why we will be using this one <coughs> You, if you want to have a correct control over the box sizing for example you have given with 100 pixel without the box sizing and you're giving padding and border and all those things means so you cannot have a control over the box so you cannot say that it is exact 100 pixel so you need to make a calculations in a such a way that you need to calculate the width plus padding plus border and all those things now if you mention this box sizing as a border box now you it will be calculated as something like width height and border everything it will be calculated so normally as a uh, what we what we will be trying to do is so normal when we are trying to develop an application so in order to have a uh, exact uh, matching for all the things box sizing uh, in order to have all the elements to follow the exact box sizing so we will keep star so we'll try to see about that star also border box sorry box sizing border box we'll try to keep box sizing a border box so that there is no need for us to mention for everything and also you can also use the pseudo elements also so before and also after so i can use after also so here you need to use star so we will be using with some other thing right we need to use the star that's it so now everything will be in the box sizing only so this is the thing so now we can by using this alternative box model this is called as an alternative box model why because the default value it will be calculating the css will be the content box but we are using to calculate with a border box now this becomes it will be more predictable the width the width and height of the box of the element is more predictable so now developers can easily work on this one so this is the usage of this box sizing so now you need to understand about the box model every element in this one follows the box model and the default one is the content box you can control the box sizing using the border box so this is the concept which i want to explain you hope you understood about this box model if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you